All right, let's talk about paddling. Again, again this is the G-Grip. Control it, cover it up. Paddling works best when everybody works together, when everybody moves together. All right, there's, everybody should be moving together. The people up front set the pace, and the people behind follow along. We have five paddle commands out here. We have forward paddle, back paddle, right turn, left turn, stop. Stop just means stop. Stop your paddle stroke. You don't stop the boat, just stop your paddle stroke. Even in the, in the middle of a stroke, if you hear stop, stop right there. Just pull your paddle out of the water and get ready for the next thing. Um, your forward paddle should look like this. When you hear forward paddle, you guys up front watch each other. Everybody should be watching each other. You rock forward, you grab water, and sit up. Okay. Forward, grab water, and sit up. And this is rocking motion that should be going on. You're paddling like this, you're not doing much good. That's just that's just not it. You don't want to see your arms bending too much. Arms should be more or less extended and you go from here to here. Here to here. Look, my arms are extended. My arms aren't doing much. Okay? It's all it's all this rocking motion. And I want you to think about making the boat surge forward every time you take a stroke. If everybody gets in the water together, if everybody's got that rocking motion going, your boat should surge forward. I don't want you gassing out, you know, by going 100% all the time. But a good 70% that you can maintain is good. And we'll adjust our level of intensity and paddling uh, accordingly, you know, to each rapid. You know, you'll hear, you're going to hear this a lot. Ready to forward and forward. The, the intensity level is not there. You're going to hear the, you're going to hear that as a, you know, easy forward. We're not working too hard. You hear, you hear somebody say, forward, that means we're going. And so we're working hard, we're really punching around, making that boat surge around. You hear, ready for, ready for, ready to forward, easy forward. Ready to back, easy back. You're gonna hear that a lot too. So just be listening for that, that change in tone and intensity and adjust your paddle strokes accordingly. But here's how, here's how it, your standard good forward paddle strokes look. Ready to forward and forward. Moving the boat, okay? Pretty short, powerful, chopping strokes. That's your forward paddle. Keep paddling until you hear stop. It's gonna look to you like you're done sometimes. You tend to stop, don't stop. Keep going until your guide says stop. Right? A lot of times we run a rapid and we're positioning for the next rapid or we're positioning to pick up a swimmer behind us. So trust that we know when to stop and we won't use you any more than we need you. Just keep going until you hear stop. That's your forward paddle. Back paddling is, is different. It's really important to get this one right. We'll practice it until we get it right down here. Uh, our back paddling is our most important stroke. It's our power stroke. Everything we do that's important today will be done by back paddling. Everything. Anything that's really important is gonna happen by back paddling. So it looks like this. We're gonna slide this hand that's close to the blade up the paddle shaft, toward the middle of the paddle shaft. We'll put it against our hip, right here. And keep it there. You're going to keep it here. You push your T-grip out in front of you, you cross forward a little bit, and when you hear back paddle, walk back a little bit and rotate. Pull on your T-grip. Turning your head and shoulders this way to look back at your river guide. You don't have to do that. Look all day. I think at first, though, it really helps you get the rotation. All the motion should be here and in the rotation. So you're pulling with this hand. Right? And crouching forward. Reloading, it's like reloading. Winding up the spring again when you crouch forward a little bit. And you pull here and rotate. See that? And then crouch forward, it should look like this. Ready to back and back down. You're gonna get in that pop so the boat's surging backward. Okay? You really want the boat to move. It's not just moving your paddle. Think about moving the boat. Again, stay together until you hear it. Until you hear stop, and just stop. Keep paddling until you hear stop. Try to keep this hand and the paddle shaft on the hip. Notice that what notice what's happening with this. Nothing's happening here. When I'm back paddling, there's nothing going on here. This stays right here. Crouch forward. Crouch forward. And rotate. Right here. And a way to get started on that, to keep learn to keep your paddle shaft on your hip. So reach around this paddle shaft and grab your wetsuit, just like that. See that? Got my wetsuit. 
that's holding my hand against my hip. And it's somehow hard for people to get that. It's hard at first. Because that's a lot. It's no good. There's nothing there. This is it right here. Touch forward. Touch forward. Like this. Right? Right turn and left turn happen when uh, the opposite sides of the boat paddle in opposite directions. We'll practice it down here. Don't worry about it now. Uh, it does help if we paddle together at the same time, even though we're going in opposite directions. It'll help snap the boat around fast. Questions about paddling so far? Okay.